Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a good looking puzzle in front of us. Uh, this one is called Dragon's Mail by Rockrat Zero. And yeah, I can kind of see like these are scales of a dragon. That makes sense to me. Cool. So let's look at the rules, see what's going on with this puzzle, and see if we can figure it out. Normal Sudoku, every row, column, and 3x3 three three box will contain the digits 1 through 9 once each. Digits in cages must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. Digits may not repeat within cages. So this is our typical killer cage rules. So these guys will add to 16, these to 21, these to 14, etc., etc. And then we have crop keys. So digits served by a white dot must be consecutive. So these two will be consecutive, these two, etc., etc. And that's it. So fairly standard rule sets. But there's an interesting grouping of how all these are working together. So we're going to have to dig into this one and see if we can get it figured out. So let's not mess around. Let's just get at it. Links in the description below. Let's get started. So do we have any group we do where we can start <clears throat> right here? This is one, two, three. This can't be one because <clears throat> it would force this to be two. We've already got that. This can't be two because it forced this to be one or three. Can't do that. This is three. Let's put that in. These two are not threes. We got a one, two. This three has to go with the four. Now, the four here can go with either a three or a five. But does that four, yes, that four helps us into the 21 because now we have four and 21. These two digits have to add to 17. There's only one way to make 17, 9, 8. Now, this can't be 9 because it would force this to be 8 and break this. So this is 8. This is 9. This is 7. Now, let's keep moving along the line here. The 7 means this is either 6 or 8. This 7 means these two have to add to 9. Uh... There's, there's options there. Not a ton, but there are, are options. Well, are there? Because it can't be 8, 1, 7, 2, or 6. Oh, no, it just has one option. It's 5, 4. And if there's a 4 here, get it out of your mouth. This is 5. This is 4. If that's a 5, this has to be 6 because we can't put a 4 there. This 6 has to be sitting next to either a 5 or a 7. Now, if this is a 6, these two have to add to 16. It's only one way to make 16. It's 9, 7. We have a 9 here. So this is 7. This is 9. Good. There's a start. This guy here has to be 1 or 2 to finish the row. Now, what did that do to anything in here? How can we continue to propagate these? Or do we need to look down here first? Let's think. Well... We know there's a 7 and a 9 down here by Sudoku. 7s, 9s. Now, I guess, well, that's interesting. This can't be the 9, because this would force us to be an 8. So there is a 9 on here, so this is a 9-8 pair, which means this is 7. Get rid of these guys. Good. And these two here will have to be 5 and 6, it looks like. Put those in. That's going to leave these two to be 1, 2, and 8. Well, this can't be 8, so this one is. Good. All right, so let's think about this. This 7 can't be paired with an 8, so it must be paired with a 6. These two digits are from 1, 2, and 3. One, two, three. Now we know there's going to be a two on here, so this has to be one. Get on the right thing. This is one, this is two, this is one. That force is two. Now that one says this is a two, three pair, and these digits are going to have to be one, four, and five. Okay, we've got a little bit of something there. Doesn't look like it necessarily broke any of this stuff up, but we have something to work with. Let's think about now what these guys might be getting into. Okay, what about options? If this was a 5, these would have to be a 1-3 pair. 
that is not possible. Okay, so yeah, if this is a five, we're four left. The only way to make four is one, three. Well, the three is looking here, so this would have to be a three, this would have to be a one. But if this is a one, this has to be a two. No bueno. This is three. So these two have to add to six. Now, it could be one, five, or two, four. This can't be two, this can't be four. This can't be one, we just said. We can't put a one here because it force a two. Uh, this guy does not have the same restrictions, but this being a four or five means this is not a five. So it is just a one, two pair, which means this is one, two, or three. Now the four or five, does that tell us anything here or do we need to go into the 17? Um, there probably are some things here we can work in. And it seems correct that we would be building our way up into each of these guys here. So let's think about the options here. If this was a one, this would have to be an eight. This would have to be an eight as well, because we can't ever obviously do one and six. Well, if we have to do one with eight and we have to do another eight, we can't do one. So let's get rid of one. Can we figure anything else out from that? If it's a two, it could go with the six, because this could be nine. And that would work. If it's two with the eight, that doesn't work, because this would be a seven. So two, six, nine, three, six, eight, three, eight doesn't work because that would have to be a seven. No, sorry. Three, duh, I can add three, eight, six. Now, what of those options doesn't work? work there probably is something there and i had to think about it as i was thinking about it. so again two six nine this would be eight two eight doesn't work three six is nine this would be eight this could be seven or nine well, I guess this couldn't be 9, right? Because if it was 3, 6, and 9, this becomes 8. We couldn't put a 9 here because it would force another 8. So that's not 9. If it was 3 and 8, we're at 11. This would be 6. This would be 7. It can't be a 5. Okay. Well, can we continue to walk this path? Let's think about what all this does, because it's possible we have to get into here to look back and rule out some things. So what is that going to be? We can also step up this way if we wanted to, but I think we'll stay here for now. Five and seven doesn't work, does it? Three, seven. No, it's 12. This would have to be seven. Five and eight doesn't work work because this would have to be six so this is not five there we go this is seven we just had to continue this is eight that is 15 right so this is four therefore this is five that's eight this is one this is two now if that's an eight this is nine we are at 11 so this has to be six good keep checking down here to make sure we don't get any of these things uh, f creating or removing options. This has to be four or six. Perfectly fine. This here has to be three or five, and it can't be five, so it's three. If that's a three, this is two, because it can't be four. Two, not five, thank you. 
three means these are 14s, but let's look at these two options first and then see what kind of options we actually have. <clears throat> these are sixes and sevens. We can just put those in. Let's do that. Six, seven. Now we know this is nine, so this has to be eight. Good. Uh, what are these three? Let's put those in for the moment. We have one, five, and nine. This is not nine. That's the only reduction it appears. Nine, seven, two, four, four, five. Yeah, okay. Um, so we're gonna have to jump into this next layer. Do we wanna go here or here? Because this two means these have to add to seven. It's one, six, two, or three, four, because you can't do two, five. Um, this could be any, well, it can't be four, because we have a four looking at it, and it can't be six. There we go. That's further reduction now, so we can get these guys out. These are not one or threes anymore, because this has to be the one or the three. Now, a one pushes twos into these guys. A three pushes either twos or fours. Well, this is just always a two. Good. All right. Um, this is always just a two as well. Didn't see that guy. So two, that forces three, two. We've got a little bit of something going on here. One, two, five, nine. Okay. Uh, let's see. Kind of debating if I want to look at rows and columns or if I want to continue on the cages. You're one or three. You're still four or six. This is one. Those are 15. There's probably multiple ways that can do it. But again, we have all these interactions with crop key, so we're going to have reductions. So it kind of gets me thinking about just popping in digits and see what happens. Because I think we might get some use out of that. So one, six, seven, and nine. This one obviously can't be one or six. What else can we say? This one can't be six or seven or nine. Okay, it just is one. There we go. We did just need to start looking at these and this just is seven. Perfect. These are not one or seven. This here is nine, so this has to be four. Hoping we don't run into anything that's gonna kill us here. This is six. We're now at eight, so this has to be the one. This is not a one. Two, one, that actually just pushes five, nine. This is not nine. These are not fives. Good, this is actually now just a given digit of what? Three? What does that do? It gives us five. So this one here is nine, you are six, good. So we've kind of skipped a couple of scales here, but it, it worked out for us, so let's continue the process. This nine says this is eight. These two digits now are left as three and five. Yes. Let's see what those do for us. This can't be a five, because if it was, we'd already be at 13. This is three. This is five. That forces the one, five, three, and four and one. This guy still isn't quite determined, but you are. You are a four. You two have to be two and nine. So this is the two. This is the nine. That gives us the eight. Eight and nine. Thank you. Good. That's all working. These are still four, six, and eight. Um, am I on the right thing? Four, six, eight. This is not four. Not really a ton there. Uh, which one do we want to jump into? Let's go here, because this has to be five. It's the only thing left. Good. Now this is eight, so this has to be eight, which is going to give us the six, four, eight, and five, and six. Good. 
This eight says this just is seven because it can't be nine. This then has to be nine. This is a given two, looks like. These are 11, so this is six. This is a given, what is it? One, one, yes, one, there we go. Uh, these guys are 11, so this is three. This is now nine. And we can figure out these two digits and give us this one. Or we can just say that this is four. We can still solve these guys. They're five and seven. Five and seven gets us to 12 plus four. That works. Uh, we don't have those given yet, but this is now an eight. Good. Uh, this guy here, this is 11, so this has to be a one. This is a seven. That gives us the five, seven. Now that's going to give us here the five and the four. There we go. Cool. You saw the puzzle. Solution is correct. Uh, oh, it's been out. Well, this puzzle was created a long time ago, <laughs> years ago, actually, it, but it was very recently put on Logic Masters Germany. So uh, it's got a ton of solves and a long time frame on it, but <clears throat> really fun puzzle, really accessible too, because once you get started on this thing, it starts to just play out and everything starts stacking on top of each other like Dragon's Mail. So very fun puzzle. I hope you all enjoyed that one and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.